At the age of 15, Lydia Anyango had her first crimson tide. Anxious and elated at the same time, she braced herself for her journey into the next phase of womanhood. She had a stand by Sanitary Park that was bought by her elder sister. Born and raised in Kibra, her family's earning were not enough to supplement sanitary towels. Oftentimes she missed school and stayed at home when the moon was above the sky for fear of leakages. One day while in school, a menstrual hygiene group visited. The Love Cup, which has been distributing menstrual cups for girls in informal settlements for the last three years, was offering an alternative to sanitary towels and tampons. To find money for buying the pads each and every time was really hard. And since CAF came in, it has really assisted me. I've never been having challenges during my monthly periods. I recommend the girls to use the pad since, I mean to use the cup, mm -hmm. since it is very economical. Mm -hmm. You don't need to buy, the, to buy them each and every time. Mm -hmm. Whenever you are on your floors, you don't need to hustle so much to get money to buy them. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's very economical. Menstrual cups are made of medical silicone and could last between 5 to 10 years. Unlike tampons and pads, cups collect menstrual fluid rather than absorb. One cup goes for 1,500 shillings and can last up to five years. One sanitary towel pack goes for a minimum of 50 shillings. This means annually a woman that uses one pack per month will spend 600 shillings. This is equivalent of 3,000 Kenyan shillings for five years. Ebi Weyime came across the menstrual cup solution while she was living in South Africa. 2016 is when I started using the cup and I was looking for an alternative to the pads because I was just I was tired of pads, I was tired of tampons because at some point I was even ending up using both at the same time. You know, there was, and I was like, there has to be another solution out there. So I started using it in, in 2016 and that's how I ended up, I loved the product so much. When I, when I came back home, I was asking my friends, do you guys know about the cup? And everyone's like, nope, what is that? The cup is like this, you fold it, it's called a seat. Ebi has taken it upon herself to demystify the myths and misconceptions associated with the menstrual cups. From Biology 101, anything that is warm and is moist, that's where bacteria, that's why it grows, that's why it multiplies. The material in the cup, it's made from medical grade silicon. So the material itself is non-porous, non-absorbent. In layman's language, it's, bacteria can stay on it, but it cannot live, it cannot survive on it. The cup itself, when it's inserted, it sits here. It doesn't need to go so high. This is where the cup is sitting. So if your virginity is here or your coil or your IUD is here, it has no interruption. So how is the device cleaned? If you don't feel like, um, like boiling, take very hot water, um, put some sterilizer, so say Milton's or a disinfectant, put it in and then let it sit for 10 minutes. However, Abby says that there's a general thinking that the cups are for the poor, as most organizations donate them to people living in informal settlements. Back at Lydia's school, she is busy in class and doesn't have a worry about her monthly menses. Lydia has been in school and interrupted for the last two years since she started using the cup. The 17-year-old would like to be an economist in future and will definitely advocate for cups in schools rather than sanitary towel distributions. Diana Rose, Switch TV.